Right guys, Matt Crossford here with Golf Online 360 show and tonight we're talking topping. Top golf shots, so much energy to hit the ball not very far distances. It's a frustrating shot. Let's share with you what I think you need to do to stop hitting the top shot. So you take a big swing, you put all this energy in and the ball just kind of tops along the ground in front of you. It's a very frustrating shot for golfers. I see it time and time again amongst students. It's one that people struggle with. Um, the most common reason I see for topping is people not uh, controlling low point of the club. So what I mean by that is low point is often before the ball. Also, they don't control low point as in if the club is on the ground, above the ground or in the ground. So on two, uh, two kind of uh, dimensions there, you are controlling low point. We'll talk about both. First off, people hitting the ball on the way up because low point is before the ball when the ball is on the ground has got a good chance of causing a top shot. And that is the most common reason I see for topping. Lots of people think they're hitting down and ramming the ball into the ground. You get a few people topping that way, but not many. It's predominantly them leaning back and hitting that ball on the way up. When the ball's on the ground, you don't want to be hitting it on the way up. It's going to be hard to get underneath it. So why do students want to have this desire to hang back and get that low point before the ball? Well, it's often because they've got an issue with the face to pass. So if we keep going down the chain, what you're going to find is, so they top the ball, they've got low point early, the reason they got low point early is because they want that face open to a path. So what I mean by that is if I turn around my back foot, it allows me to pull my path a long way left of target, which then allows me to have my face open to that path, but still closed of the target line, which means the ball will start at the left and cut back onto target. So it gives me some successful shots, allows me to get around the course. But you're playing a dangerous game by having that low point early, because if you just don't quite get that low point enough to the ground or even getting into the grass a little bit, what happens is you're coming too far up the ball and there's your top shot. So why do players have this desire to have this face open to the path, which then makes them have this desire to have the low point early? Often it goes back again down through the chain to grip. I see people holding the club in a way that encourages them to swing the club with a face which could be delivered open to a path. Then their desire to hit target makes them hang back. That then makes them have low point early and then in turn there goes the top. So the first port of call I would go with a golfer is looking at the way they're holding the club. Most common issues I see is getting the face, uh, the club far too up through the middle of the palm. This is very weak on the wrist and encourages golfers to really leave the face open to the path, then in turn hang back, swing way left and get that low point too far early. So experiment a little bit first with your grip. How many knuckles are you seeing on your left hand? Make sure you're seeing a good two to three knuckles and is that club going through more through the base of your palm? Uh, if it is and you've still got that desire to hang back, could be other things, wrist angles. I see golfers using their wrists in a way that encourage the face to be way open to a path. So if they were to move low point forward, change the path more out towards target with that face open to that path, the ball is going right, starting right and turning further right. So again, to get rid of that shot, they don't change the wrist angles. What they do is they hang back and then again, there goes the top shot. So I want you I think if you've got a decent hold going on that encourages a better strike, I want you then to start thinking about your wrist, making sure as you swing back, you're flattening your left wrist on the backswing as a right-handed golfer, and on the way down, feeling like you're flattening it uh, as you start that downswing. Wrist angles are a key factor in controlling the face to path. Controlling the face to the path is a key factor in controlling club path, sort of direction you're hitting the ball on with the club as you strike it. Then in turn, that is a key factor in how you transfer your pressure and your weight and in turn control your low point. Um, now, other reasons I see people topping the ball is because they can't actually control the how they deliver the club in relationship to the ground. So the height of it in relationship to the ground, so not so much low point. They could be zeroing, even hitting down, not up, and still topping it because their club literally doesn't get to the ground. Now, what I want to do with you is I would get you practicing a few ideas of hitting from some very selective different lies. I'd get a seven iron and tee the ball up very high and get you to try and find a sweet spot from there. I'd maybe put you on a few sloping lies as well to try and get you to find sweet spot from there and talk about how you're moving your pressure differently, um, how you're moving things differently to find that strike pattern. By challenging 
your skill to deliver the club in relationship to the ground will also really help you when it comes to top shots. Um, if you think about when you play, unless you spirit level every shot, even on a tee, teeing ground, the ball is not level with your feet. I mean, if it's on a tee, it's above your feet, isn't it? You've got to be able to dynamically control how that club is delivered to the ground above it or not. Uh, and it's something that people don't practice because they go on perfectly flat ranges and hit shots after shots after shots. Uh, you're not actually practicing that apart from when you get on the course and you get on the course and you actually probably get a little bit thrown by the many different lies. So the main reason of topping people is you need to be able to try and control your path. You need to be able to control your low point. You need to be able to control where the club is delivered to the ground. And you also need to be able to control your face to path. So we need to be looking at your grip to start. Then we need to be thinking about the way your pressure's moving, getting your weight across and what have you in relationship to your path and your face to path. That's how you control tops. I see so many golfers trying to control tops while they have a face wide open to a path and they start to control path but they lose direction of their shots. So what they do is they go back to that hang back shot which does hit target and then the three of those, a few of those tops are always thrown in. It's never quite as simple as people want it to be. People often think, oh, I'm hitting a top, I must be coming up, those kind of things. Well, the club is coming up, you might not be. Hope that helps. We've got a few questions about topping as well. Uh, let me know what you think. So question time then. We got a question from Scott on Facebook saying, uh, playing a shot above below feet, how is it best to play it? And what is the likely shot direction from playing either i know i top it a lot when the ball is above and below feet well i've done some videos on sloping lies so maybe check them out scott reference the topping when the ball is below your feet that's very common that's very common as well with golfers who aren't able to control that low point in reference to how high or low the club gets during its full circle so its lowest point where is that in relationship to the ground those people find it very hard to hit the ball when it's on slopey lie, certainly ball below your feet because they're reluctant to get down even when it's level with their feet. They often prefer it slightly above. Again, back to my drill, like I said, about trying to hit from different tee heights, different sloping lies. Really get out there and try and find that club, kind of parking the sole of that club into the grass, if you like, really sweeping down and catching that grass, finding the bottom of that club in relationship to the ground is a skill within itself and one I never see amateurs practice. Okay, and a question here from Richard to finish, a cheeky question. Why do you top your free wood? Uh, hashtag ask AGG, hashtag cheeky question. Um, so he's referring to a video where I played East Sussex National and topped a three wood three times, I think, um, trying to hit a shot into a green. Now, the reason I topped that free wood was similar to the reasons I've pointed out here today. I was trying to hit a high draw and quite hard with a three wood from the deck. So I was changing my angle of attack to be almost slightly up at the ball to try and get height. Um, I was also trying to get the face slightly close to a path, which didn't feel very comfortable from the ground. Uh, I had the ball forward to try and get that angle of attack slightly different. And I wasn't able to get my contact under the ball on that occasion. So it was more the situation than the club, as in I usually quite enjoy my three wood because my angle of attack with three wood is kind of quite level, um, which gives me a nice launch and usually a decent distance. But the three wood he's referring to actually refers to the points I was talking about. I wasn't able to control low point when trying to hit that shot. Um, it was getting way outside my comfort zone, if you like. There we go, great questions. Hope that helps. 360 show with Golf Online every Monday, 7 o'clock. Uh, post comments down below. As always, thanks for watching.